Hey guys, I just got my hands on a Skywalker. I know I'm a little late, but then I we've been seeing a lot of these helicopters pop up on my YouTube, so we decided to look at one to get one um, for my first impressions. My dad already got his and flew him, and he said it was phenomenal. And there's the board, the Envision Nine, Revision Nine. Revision nine. Uh, 2013, November 26. No. I mean, not that. It's 27. No. 7 that, 26, 2013. Yeah. Date. The 2013, 7 26. Show the camera. Nice blue board. So, so he was talking about me flying it. I flew it. He he wasn't home yet, and I flew it. And I'm really impressed. I mean, I I've never really flown fixed pitch helis. And um, when I found out, you know, how much they were and just how the reviews, I just couldn't pass up getting these. Um, so Ireland has not seen it fly yet. And uh, this is going to be his open box impression. But it is version, uh, revision 9 with the blue board and 72613 build. So um, I don't, uh, it doesn't look like MEMS gyros to me. And then we were looking, you know, for that. But it, it also has that blue board we never found. So I never really seen updated threads that described the boards. So it's kind of new. And also, we found out the battery says 175 milliamps on it, not 150 or 200. Like the old ones had 200, but they were actually 150s. These said 175s, and it says it on the batteries. So he's going to go ahead and just do his open box. He's so here's. Don't forget about your other helicopters, too. Oh, yeah. And uh, before I got this one, I was flying this one for a while. And then my dad introduced me to. One hit to four his Coaxial four channel, and so I've been flying this, and so now I'm I'm pretty used to four channel. I got upgraded to the single rotor Skywalker fixed pitch. Fixed pitch. So I'm just gonna box it right now. Nice packaging, huh? Mm-hmm. I like the packaging. This See, like you're able to. Remember on some of those other videos, he, he, we were watching other videos, and we saw like from Banggood, some of these other sites. They repackage them outside the original packaging, and they came with a lot of damaged canopies mm -hmm. and uh, really, really vague pa packing the way they did it. We weren't really impressed with it, so there was a lot of issues. I don't know if they worked all those out since then, because I know we're late, but this is the original packaging here, but it wasn't shipped to us, so that's the plus. Yep. So what do you So, think? first thing I see is the helicopter, of course. Oh, it's strapped down right now, but... You can take the whole plastic out. Instructions on the bottom. Instructions are just in here. So, so the other thing we have a dual charger for the two batteries. Just, just, just an hour well, and right here there's a spare part, spare propellers. And we. We have a USB uh, charger to plug into this, so we can charge in, to charge these two. And I also read that you're able to charge it off the radio, but it might it could be a slower charger. But yeah, I'll we did we charged it off of this radio from this one. It really was horrible. Yeah, it kills the battery life too. But we used our own. But yeah, it comes with a decent one. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we can take out the remote. Just pop it out. Nice remote. There's these little. Fancy. It's just basic, but. Of all the controls. So it looks like you're kicking out a little turn on. Show the camera too. Yeah. This one's my dad's. You see it. Does that every time you start it. And That's got a nice display though. It reads everything. See? And then when you go up, look at the helicopter digital. <laughs> yeah. Those little things. It's a good, it's a good basic radio. Um, when I was flying it, it feels great though. It feels okay on your fingers. We don't have Fly Sky radio, so we can't really bind it to those. Not now, anyways. But so this, these will do for now. Yeah. So put it right here. All right. So. Don't block here. Is this? It's only one little strap that holds it. Nothing too fancy for holding it down. So 
now we got the helicopter. Very nice. Feels like really a high quality helicopter. Yeah, it does. It does feel like higher quality, doesn't it? Is it bigger than you thought? Yeah, a lot bigger. Cause like I was started from this little one, and then right up to this enormous for me. My first, and it's also my first single rotor helicopter, so a little new, but it looks really cool. I like it. So on the on a, a newer version of Pro, that talks about the better hub for the motor and uh, the guard, the, the whatever you want to call it. The, Fin? Yeah, the prop protector, I guess, because when it lands here, it's a little bit different, a little bit more beefier. It's got better frame, airframe. Um, the way the tail boom is more solid, it's more more rigid. And, you know, all that. You can talk about the landing and you know, all that feeling. Yeah, and another thing the, from what makes this one different from the original is they upgraded the canopy to make it lighter and they upgraded the landing gear, the skits. Uh, Don't forget to like, show the camera and stuff too. Yeah. So they made it a little bit uh, beefier, so it's better. Okay. So what do you think? Just looking at it right out of the box, it just it looks there's amazing. so many moving parts. If you really look at it, between the swash plate and the linkages, look at all how many there's. There's a a lot of moving parts than we thought. Let's see if you can see. I know a lot of you guys have already seen these, but there's so many moving parts on here, just like you know a full size fixed pitch heli. All these little linkages, but very durable. They said. Yeah. Some Very issues nice. with the swash plate separation. Um, we won't know about that one for a while. But and then there's some mods you have to do, like with the weights on the fly bar. You got to tape them so the weights don't fly out. Little things like that. I did get one one fly bar strike on my body when I when I did a, a really fast um, transition forward the back, and it did hit my my uh, my canopy a little. I heard it. But other than that, it flew great. Yeah, it looks it looks phenomenal. I like the quality, right? the, I like the quality of it. And guess what? No dents in the body. Yep. Original packaging. And another thing I like is the battery holder is beefy. So yeah, it it's good. more like hobby grade. Like it snaps in real nice. Not like these where they slide in and it's kind of flimsy. Yeah. It's more like you know hobby grade. See, so yeah, I really like that. Next up is. And then another surprise was the batteries being. 175 milliamp. If you see if you can show the camera, see if it shows up. These batteries say 175. Now, some guys may already know that it's 175, but we didn't. We didn't see a newer version yeah. video. Because the last time we saw the video, it was said only 150 because it was misprinted for 200 milliamps. Yeah. If you want to take those out, I'll put them on the charger now. All right. Just take the tape out. Right? Okay. And then snap out the charger, and you'll see how, just plug them into your charger, you'll see how nice and you know, quality it feels like just using the charger. So I'll take the charger out. I'll use the wire on this one. So overall, the packaging is good. Um, no damage, obviously. You can only go in one way, it's proprietary direction. But it just, it goes in nice and there's a, you can go straight. See, it's well, like yeah. really snaps nice in there, right? snap. And then we'll get an adapter cable so we can charge it on our high-tech charger. I would never pull it, push it from the battery. I always pull it, push it from the plastic. Okay. Okay. You can only go in one way, and then it's got that little guide. Push it down in there. Is it in there? Yeah. So just tab it. And you had it. It's just, just push it down. Sometimes I notice on the batteries these aren't exactly parallel. They're they're off a little bit. Yeah. But. And it does say in one of the manuals that you want to plug the batteries in first before plugging it in into the, your USB. I don't know, they said they can damage the board, but I don't think so, but it feels good. Yeah, really nice. So now it's for the the USB. So we can plug it into anything that has a USB port. So you can charge it a lot. We got those better portable batteries that we can use too. So yeah. That's my, oh wait, oh. Don't try and here's this uh, spare parts bag, comes with one extra tail so. rotor. And props, yeah. And an extra pair of props for the top, for the main. So yeah, that's my first impression is on the four channel Skywalker. Yeah, and also we liked about it, the fact that it had like realistic servos built into the board, but you know, not like the servos on here that use 
external gears and real tiny motors. The motors for the servos on there are like the same motors used on the on the the, the prop motors, the gears, which makes it uh, more beefier. Yeah. And surprisingly, it's lighter than I thought it would be too. But um, yeah, so that that's it. I like it. What do you think? I really like See it. See the landing gear because the new one has got that beefier landing gear. Yeah, I really like the landing and gear. And the whole tail boom section here is nice and more rigid. So, but you can see the blue boards. These are the blue boards. Now uh, we'll have to do some more researching, but it doesn't look like men's gyros. So it just looks like a, a piezo. So, but yeah, flies great. Yep. Can't wait to fly it. So good review. Yeah. Box out. He's 12. Ireland's 12 years old. He wanted to do a video, you know, from a 12 year old standpoint. So if there's other kids out there, they, they can just watch and just you know as, as a 12 year old would do um he's been flying quadcopters for years over six years now and rc cars forever you know so um this is a whole new kind of adventure for the single rotors you know if you get good at it then you could do you know acrobatic you know get a new one with uh cp control and everything so but uh skywalker four channel uh the real toes of you the WL Toys V911, huh? Good? Yep, I really like that. have your sign of approval? Mm hmm. I give it a five stars so far. <laughs> Just for presentation? Yep. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, there's Ireland on his camera. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, and he'll be doing more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Cool.